when you think of Alaska, this image probably pops in your head. The cold, the igloos, the polar bears. I heard it all. But the residents of Anchorage, Alaska, this is what they associate where we going with. Voted top 10 most dangerous city numerous times. And that's where we're working out today, man. Let's go. You clicked on this video, man. All I gotta say is, may the Lord bless you, my good brother. Thank y'all so much. About to take y'all on a workout vlog. It's gonna be crazy. This video right here is gonna be a workout vlog. This is gonna show you how a pro hooper works out and the small details of how to get better every single day. And this workout is gonna go through everything, ball handling, finishing, shooting, some couple moves to create more separation, things like that. Hopefully this video turns y'all up, man. Hopefully, I mean, watch the whole video. Right now, I'm in Anchorage, Alaska. That's where I'm from. Who almost smacked the fin? Don't vlog and drive. Bro, you gotta have that good praise music on for the workout, bro. Come on, man. Born against me. When you start in the day, you gotta start that day off with that big time energy. You get that good workout in, the good vibes, the positive thinking, but it all goes together. Yeah. You wanna be my lady? Big workout vibes. We're gonna get right. Pulling up to the boys and girls club now. I don't know what our knees doing. The way I like to do my workouts is I like to work on one specific thing. Thinking about you every night. Awesome. Bruh, are you a Hall of Fame menace, bro? Just playing straight young boy? Bro, what's up? Hi, skin. What's up? Alright, gotta cut the camera. What's good, my boy? Oh, you're a real road man. You got this Nike tech on? Yeah, I'll take the trash rock there. You, bro. Like. A dollar. What's up, got you? It's me and feeding the hood. What we doing around here, bro? Good guy and easy in the oh, chat. Feed the hood, feed the hood. All right, my boy, I ain't got nothing for you but a handshake. Hey, don't do drugs, my boy, for real. Let you know what type of time I'm on. Uh, baby A in the back said he want a one-on-one. -on -one. We're popping this. Y'all put so. five racks cabs, right? All right. So we at the world famous Mountain View Boys and Girls Club. Are we at the world famous Mountain View Boys and Girls Club. A lot of legends that came through here. One of the first spots I hooked at as a used blood. Cause Yo, bro. <laughs> Please, please, please. I'm black. All right. Yes, sir, ski. This is what it's about right here, the work. So we're going to get straight into it. This is a warm-up drill that I like to do. It gets my feet moving. And here, what you really want to work on is shifting your feet and getting a quick pickup on the ball. I really like this one too because it really translates to like real in-game stuff. And you're always gonna have to do a move. You're always gonna have to pick the ball up fast. And if you can maximize those small little micro skills, you can get a shot off on anybody. So you really wanna shift those feet. And I feel like when you shift those feet, it makes you more explosive too into your next move. 
So here I'm just gonna explain the whole video, what drills we're doing. And if we're doing a bad job, I'm gonna explain how we could do a better job so you can get the best results you can. See here, we're doing the same thing. Ooh, okay, that boy got on the string. Hold up now. But see, look, you just wanna tat, 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 tat. Strong pickup, fast pickup. Really hear that noise when you pick up the ball and get the ball in your shot pocket and get it up. And you wanna hit three in a row. If you're, uh, I would say like average skill, if you feel like you're elite and you wanna take the challenge, hit five in a row and then move on to the next spot going around the key. Where are my manners, bro? That's my boy Kerbo. He's from Rage City. I mean, Anchorage, Alaska too. And I'm gonna put his joint in the description. You know what I'm saying? Follow my boy on the gram. After every segment, gotta make two free throws in a row. Next, we're going straight into a ball handling slash finishing drill. What you're doing in this drill is changing directions four times, four different ways. And you're gonna do four different layups at the hoop. It sounds complex, but it's really not. The first one was between the legs, second one was behind the back, and now I'm doing an in and out cross. And then see, notice how I'm doing different finishes every time at the basket. Here, I'm doing a bad job at leaning forward, which has disrupted my balance when I'm coming out of moves, and it'll allow the defender to bump me as well. Notice how I did a different finish every time at the basket. This is the part where you really wanna pick it up because when you're doing this type of drill, you wanna imagine someone's trying to turn you in the backcourt, you're coming down the court, they're really pressuring you, so you really wanna work on those change of directions. I feel like they really are a key if you're a point guard bringing that ball down the court. Next, we work on the arguably the best, most important skill in basketball, which is shooting. If you can shoot, you can space that floor. You master one thing, you can get paid to play this game, I promise you. This drill right here is the windshield wiper drill. You have to make or you have to shoot 10 and hold yourself to a standard. I hold myself to the standard of eight out of 10. No one's guarding me. So they should be coke butter cheese. You feel me? Straight greens. But if you feel like you're, you know what I'm saying? Starting to get there, trying to work harder. I would say five or six is a good goal. And also, look, I'm, I'm taking plays off right here, man. I need to go at a, a better pace than this, honestly. You want to go as fast, not as fast as you can, but you want to shoot these at a good pace so they feel game-like. Look at my boy Kerbo here. <laughs> that was straight draws. See, now we're moving on to the top of the key. So you're going to go from, oh, basically from elbow to elbow on the three. So you're going to go back and forth. And then when you move on, it's the same thing, corner to wing. But you want to go back and forth. Establish that great pace and get your feet underneath you and hold your follow through and just straight. To, uh, dang, I can't talk today, man. Stay true to your mechanics. Right here is a better angle. Even if it's a bad pass, shoot it because you're not going to get perfect passes in the game. Honestly, not everybody. Steve Nash or Jason Kidd. But here you just want to lock in and just string them together. Hit as many as you can in a row. I can't lie, the release is feathery. See, my only complaint with Kerbo right here is I want him to pick up the pace. I know it's the end of the workout and we did some stuff off camera too. We was, you know what I'm saying? We're trying to go crazy, go hard in the gym, but I want my boy to pick up that pace and just be a dog about it. Even though I was probably going like, <laughs> probably two steps faster. But as you can see, my boy can really shoot the ball. One more thing to mention, footwork and ball placement, <laughs> hand placement on the ball is key. But on to the next drill, man. If you're a big time guard, ball dominant guard, you're gonna be in a ball screen or pick and roll action. Here, you wanna dribble, mm, basically size up your opponent, imagine opponent is there, and you wanna really just change the pace between moves. Really just switch it up, do stuff that's uncomfortable to you. And then you really want to set up that ball screen and come off and really pop into that. See, look, I'm not popping. I'm not popping. Popping, bro. Pop that jump. Pause. Ayo. But you want to pop into that jump shot. Just how we were practicing earlier, getting the ball in your shot pocket and picking it up. You really want to just pop into that shot. Give that defender less time to react. Here, one thing that is super important, especially in ball screens, is where you where you place your eyes. What are you looking at as you come off that screen? Another micro skill to look at is 
how you change that pace. I guarantee you change that pace. You're going to have that defender twerking. No, chill. Pause, pause. You gonna have that defender off balance, bro. They're not gonna know what you're gonna do. Let, let, let. You, <sighs> they not gonna know what you finna do next. Feel me? But here we go. See, I want I want Kerbo to like literally pretend there's a defender there, and you know what I'm saying. My boy being too cool. I know it's his second workout of the day, but he being too cool. But see, look, that that's his pace though. That's the pace he play at. So. He do be cooking at that pace, so you know what I'm saying? I can't say nothing. But to be specific, in this part of the drill, you want to alternate shooting these pull-up jump shots between the mid-range area and the three. Even venture out to take some deep threes too because some defenses like to extend out. And for the last one, you're making six total, but for the last one, you want to turn down the screen like how he does right here and just pull up. And as always, you already know, you gotta hit two free throws in the game. You gotta hit the two free throws. Free throws are so important. Important. <laughs> They're so important because they can literally bring your average from 12 points to 18 points a game. And that's a big jump. That can establish you in the league from literally being an average player to one of the leading scorers in the league. All right, now we're going straight into something like a transition pull up three. You want to hit six of these. I'm literally clanking, taking it for granted, not being a grinder. Like, come on, bro. Pick it up. Stop praying, bro. Let's go. Let's pick it up. Let's go, Plop. Turn me up. All right, see, look. You want to string these together, too. Every drill, you should try to hit as many as you can in a row. Because in the game, it makes it easier to get in that zone where you have that focus. Notice the footwork on these. I'm alternating between different types of pickups in the, you know what I'm saying, like a hang dribble. That's more of a hang dribble right there. You can alternate between different types of stops to shoot the ball, whatever makes most comfortable for you. Or if you want to work on being uncomfortable, try different ones. Dang, hit a shot, plop, dang. As you can see here, we in the hood, in the boys and girls club, man. We just trying to get right. There's a, probably like 40 different kids in there. And we just trying to get right. So there's a lot of distractions, but you know what I'm saying? You can't have no excuse, gotta get it done. See here, I want him to take more of a transition. I want more speed into that shot. So like he's coming down the court, but you can alternate it how you wanna do. If you shoot a lot of shots like this, where you walk into it, stare your defender down and just knock it down. Do you, man? Literally do you. This is just a framework of a workout and then you can put whatever is gonna make you succeed the best. <laughs> now time for my favorite part of the workout, man. Hey, I also knocked them free throws down, but it's time to get jiggy, man. For this part of the workout, you wanna think of a specific move and think of different variations how to get into that move. For here, for here. What is my English today? For here, I'm literally doing a pound side step. So look, I'm sizing up the defender, changing my pace, doing different stuff until get into the move. And you see it's cash, man. This is a part where you have to use your imagination. You can't do the same thing every single time because you're not gonna be able to get to that move the same way every single time. This is just a tough move I wanted to work on for today. You know what I'm saying? Just to broaden my horizons. I can't emphasize it enough. This is the time to not be like in such a structure. Literally just switch it up. Different timing, different ways to pick up the ball, different stops. See on this one, I didn't do really a, a pound sidestep. I kind of switched it up into like a same foot. Like you've seen it right there. I dribbled with the same foot, same hand stop. Then I came back. See, look here, I was just trying to get too freaky. Clank. <laughs> Gung. But here, really try to string them together as always. Hit as many as you can in a row. And to end the workout, you just wanna hit five of these. Before this video ends, man, I gotta do a huge shout out to my boy Arneezy, AKA Baby A, and my boy Big Y Sin Styles, man, and my boy Kerbo too, for pulling up and helping me film the workout. Spending my nostrils, ain't he? Yeah, that's all for the workout, man.
Got my boy Kerbo. Go ahead and follow him at Instagram at Kerbo K E E. <laughs> hey yo, follow my boy Kerbo on Instagram at K E E. <laughs> hey, that's a wrap, man. Best 45 minute guard workout video. For guards who want to get better, but follow my boy Kerbo at Kerbo Double O Five. Yes, sir. Follow my boy, man. Shout out to my boy Arnizi. Shout out to Big Shicey. If you enjoyed the video, you feel like you can get better with this type of workout, go hit that like button and that subscribe button. Follow me on the gram, too. But we out, man.